Eleven! Day eleven. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My huge live audience before me. I'm thirsty. I've only streamed a couple times today, and we're doing another afternoon stream because mornings are hard and work is hard and things are hard. It's been a rough couple days trying to get on the mend, trying to get back to work, trying to keep the balance. Uh, today, I want to talk about uh, self-responsibility. Keep it real short, but um, just uh, one of the topics and one of the reasons I Another reason I picked Charity Water and a, another reason I hope that you will support Charity Water is um, it's really comes is all about self-responsibility. And I'm a big believer that um, we should try to do as much as we can to help ourselves and be responsible for the things we have and, and do um, in our lives, things that we've been blessed with. Uh, you know, we can't always do that well on ourselves by ourselves and we do need to depend on others or we need to get help or that's what community for is for those sorts of things um so it's not it's not always not not always easy to do that but we are capable and uh, we have a lot of tools at our disposal um especially here in america if we want to uh eat a healthier diet um typically there are options for that uh if we want to get a better job typically there are options to upskill ourselves um, if we want to uh, live a better life, we can we can clean our room. We can we can organize ourselves and make things better. And my my feeling on self responsibility is though that we we were able to do this because we are uh, we are blessed with a certain amount of uh, resources and um, capabilities in and around our immediate environment. Um, even just something as simple as learning something whether that means you had the opportunity to go to school or the opportunity to go to a public library, uh, it's, it's a lot, it's very, it's very easy in America to be self-responsible, to make positive changes in your life. But if you live somewhere without access to clean water, being self-responsible becomes considerably harder. And so what I mean by this is if you have to devote seven hours of your life every day to travel to a location to gather water for your family, that is your primary responsibility. And that journey that you take every day takes most of your time, most of your energy, uh, and doesn't leave a lot left in the tank for you to better yourself, your family, or your community doesn't doesn't leave much in ways of being responsible beyond that task of gathering water for yourself. And so I figured uh, in addition to uh, economical reasons and health reasons that giving water um, to these communities that don't have it, th in addition to those reasons, you know, we've talked about a four to eight times economic return. We've talked about the amount of loss of life that this contaminated what contaminated water causes on a daily basis. Uh, but what we haven't talked about is kind of this, this, this piece that's not really quantifiable, which is, you know, how it's more of a quality piece, which is we don't know what somebody that's blessed with the ability to have clean water in their life. And that, that pain and that suffering and that time that's, that was taken away from them is given back. We don't know, what they can do with that, what type of level of responsibility they can choose to have once they have clean water and what that will mature to mature into in their life uh, and in their community. Um, and so this self-responsibility piece, um, as far as I can tell, uh, giving clean water not only saves lives, it not only um, allows, uh, gives back that time, it not only uh, allows um, women and, and others to continue their education, but it also allows for people to have a greater level of self-responsibility and the limits of self-responsibility are truly endless. Somebody that has uh, the ability to control and manage their own time and their own needs in life can create 10, 100 or 1000 fold returns um, off of their actions. And so I think, uh, 
clean water, if we give it to people, we, we are also giving them the ability to be more self-responsible and the dividends and returns on that cannot, might not just impact uh, them, themselves, their families and their communities, but it might impact everybody globally. Um, we, we just don't know who, who it is that we're gonna save and what, what their potential might be that we're unlocking by, um, by giving them access to clean water. So that's day 11. Day 11 is self-responsibility. I'm drinking some water. I'm glad you're listening. If you're listening, thank you for your attention. Um, I think we're finally rounding the bend on this sickness. This morning was a very rough morning. Last night was a very rough night in terms of sleep and children and not feeling well. I uh, had some coffee this morning on stream. Of course, that makes me feel better. Um, still hoping to live stream playing some games tonight so we could do something a little bit more interesting for these things and maybe uh, pique your interest and pique a little donation. So we've been stuck at $765 for a few days. If you have it in your heart or in your wallet, you wouldn't mind taking out $10 and donating to my campaign. We still got a long ways to go. We're 25% of the way there, but we do want to bring clean water to 100 people before the end of the year, make a difference in 100 lives, allow 100 di different people to be more self-responsible on their own and give them back that autonomy that so many of us have. So that's what I got for day 11. Tomorrow should be fun. Um, I'm rehoming one of our dogs and driving him about three and a half hours north. So we'll have some some streams from the road, streams from the, the car uh, as we drink caffeine to keep us awake for the long journey. So it should be a fun one. Day nine blog post is up. Um, day 10 will be up tonight or tomorrow. Uh, we're keeping going. We got 19 days left after today. We're gonna make it, we're gonna do it. Share the stream, share the love, give us a like. Check out the website again, share it with a friend. Um, we just, uh, we wanna make a difference this uh, holiday season before the end of the year. So, thank you for your attention. I'm gonna take one more drink of water and uh, I'll be back on in a minute to issue some challenges. Formally. All right, thanks, bye.